Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Lemmings to the Tribes, and today we have finished space and we're going to Polar, which I think actually represents an increase in temperature, weirdly enough. Like, you got absolute zero out in the vacuum of space, and even even in sub-zero climbs, that's that's notably that's notably higher. So uh a little bit weird. We're gonna reverse the polarity today, starting with Lem Me Out. And uh, this should be, this is the first level, this should be a fairly easy one, as they tend to be, so we don't even have much to limb them out with, so how are we going to be doing this? I like the little, I like the little yellow parka, that's, that's very cute, very sensible. <laughs> it's called Fashion Sweaty, look it up. So, okay, we are, uh, we're stuck in the steel, but looks like we got, uh, well, hey, the flamethrower is back. I was just, uh, lamenting the absence of that here recently. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be going, uh, we might be, uh, oh, we got a little Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer music. That's a bit corny. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, how can we do this? I think it might behoove us to bazooka our way out, maybe. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't take too much effort. Here we go. Kaboom! There we go. Some of them didn't even feel the stun. So here we go. All right. A few of them are grouped up kind of weird. That's okay though. We won't use them for the. Uh, we won't use them for this part. We'll go ahead and flamethrower out at this peak of our. At the peak of our skills here, we will go ahead and flamethrower out. There we go. Barely got it, but barely counts. Um, let's see. How do we want to? Okay, actually, hmm. May wanna. We may wanna run this out. Actually, okay. So, uh, how do we want to do this? Huh. This is, uh... Hmm. Oh, boy. Well, everybody's getting to here. It's gonna be awfully hard to... It's gonna be awfully hard to, uh... Mortar out of here or do anything else. But we have... Okay, let's see. Maybe we should have saved our, uh... Maybe we should have saved our flamethrower for right here, where it would have been a lot easier. Just for... Just for making it easy, I am going to do that starting over on the first baby level that's that's sure a thing um let's let's try mortaring out how about yeah that mortaring is fine mortaring is fine in these little enclosed spaces like this i'm fine with it so let's go ahead and start uh this is gonna blow him way back but i want to use the flamethrower at the end where it's the cleanest to do so so <laughs> Oh <laughs> boy, alright. Yeah, blow all your friends back there, because we don't want... Okay, yeah, there we go. We don't want anybody really falling into the pit. We have a few runners that we could use to get ahead of the pack, but that just seems like, uh... That just seems like foolishness. What are you doing? Okay, well, that's a perfect fill. That's good. Okay, so here the idea is to, uh, flank through our route. And they can't even do that. That's great. Okay, so we're going to be now probably blowing up the... Yeah, I was going to say blowing up the little nice thing we made. Going to have to get up on top of this and... Oh yeah, see now that now it's getting all messy and stuff. And they don't even get out off top of that. This is okay. This is not as easy as envisioned. Are there any easier exits to get to? No, this is all just decoration. Why is this so tough? This should not be this tough. I should... Should be able to separate them out away from the pack. I thought thought it might be nice to flamethrower at the end here. Maybe it'd be a little better to use the bazooka, but it'd be nice to maybe get one person going here so they can so they can do all the legwork. Because this should not be as hard as I'm making it here. Why why is this such a thing? All right, I'm gonna have someone run ahead. I'm gonna have someone run ahead just for the convenience of it going to go ahead and flamethrower up here and then I'm gonna have somebody bazooka here there we go all right that well that kind of bumped him but that's okay so that keeps everybody enclosed in there so he can do his work all right there we go all right he might start running ahead of that no he's fine okay so he's just gonna so I have a little bit of time to uh, to get things moving here so we want to all right, how do we want to do this? We're gonna go ahead and bazooka. 
That's going to be a little imprecise. Okay, he turned around and went the other way. So here we go. Let's go from like here. All right, so he's not going to get up over that per se. So I need to figure out how to... Okay, yeah. This, this is a particularly cruel little part right here. Because I only have, okay, I only have one mortar and one bazooka to get them out now. Okay, here we go. That might be enough of a step up. That's not enough of a step up to get them out? Why would you put little steel right here? That's kind of a cruel little uh, vertex to be putting there. Like, how do you get up over that? Like, that is, that is remarkably cruel for a first level to require this kind of precision. Maybe we should all just go this way, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Uh, -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Well, no, they would go up, but they wouldn't have any other way to turn around. Yeah, this is, this is really, ugh. I don't like this. Oh, well, okay, that works, I guess. <laughs> okay, so now no need for a runner. One guy just got out over the top. <laughs> uh, sure, that's a thing. So, okay, how do I want to handle this now? Um, I think what I want to do... I think I'm going to go ahead and use my flamethrower here like I did. Okay, and then... All right, let's go ahead and I guess use our glue pours first so that we can be assured that we have a step up so okay let's go from here and then let's do it again okay all right yeah that ought to work as long as i don't mess up my shots here okay all right there's that okay so you're gonna go around now and get this done and how about how about from here i still don't think that's enough to entirely get it because I can't walk out over that little bit right there. But I don't want to... I also don't want to cut through my... I also don't want to cut through my glue pour bridge, which now I'm going to have to do. That's going to... Yeah, I, I should have gone a little bit closer with the bazooka shots. Yeah, because see, now... Now I have nothing to make with a bridge there. Okay, I'm getting it. But that's not a thing I should be saying about the first level of a try. Mercy sakes. Okay, hopefully those shots make it, and then I can let the others go if he makes it up. Oh my god! Okay, fine. Okay, so one more then, even. I, I'm gonna have to get real close, though, to make it work. How is this not working? This is, this is absolutely garbage. Oh my god! Okay, I've made a little lip that they can walk up over. They ought to be able to walk up over that this time. And if they can't, then I'm gonna put my fist through the monitor. So we've got this happening. Um, we should be able to blow our way out with any number of contrivances as long as we do it right here with any kind of ordinance. That's just fine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why was the first level of that tribe so freaking difficult? That required a level of precision. You know what? Reverse the polarity. I want to go back. I hate this tribe already. This is absolute, this is absolute trash. I hope there aren't... Oh, man, I hope this does not set a trend for this tribe, because, man, I feel kind of embarrassed right now. I'm I'm on the verge of seppuku right now. Seppuku right now. I always say seppuku, and that's not correct. But, uh, yeah, boy, talk about earning a gold medal. My God, what an embarrassing attempt on my part. That should not have taken the kind of precision it did. Although I am also going to chalk that up to the kind of the weird way the level was arranged. Man, limb me out of this tribe more. Like, what is next? Good God, I can only imagine. I can only imagine what horrors the Polar Tribe now has awaiting us. Ice Ice Lemmy, previously known as Under Pressure. We got five minutes and we have a skater. That is a new task. I didn't think we'd be seeing new jobs this late in the game but we have a skater so i guess if they walk on ice or something they slip and you need a skater to uh to not be all slippy slidey let's see how that works this is a single screen level so perhaps this one will be a little less embarrassing all around i certainly hope so anyway all right what do we got okay so we got here ah yes i see sparkling glittering ice down here we can get through there's quite a bit we can get through here I feel like we should send somebody ahead, mayhap. 
Um, how about... How about... Uh, go ahead and... Uh, Alright, we're gonna need to... We, we have fencers and flamethrowers. So that's fine. We have three fencers. Two of each. Okay. Do I have a platformer? How can I... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and... Alright. I think I see the... I think I see the idea here. I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up a stacker here. One guy's still probably gonna get over that, but that's okay, I think. Yeah, as long as we have... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Alright, we're gonna go ahead then and fence through... We're gonna go ahead and fence through the snowman here. Kind of weird looking. Kind of a penguin-y type snowman. That's bizarre. Alright, there we go. Alright, now they're walking up here, and we're gonna have to get them going. They would have gone straight up off into oblivion if we had left it the way we did. So, now we're going to... Now we're gonna cut through the snowman here. There we go. Now I want to see what happens. They slip. Yep, can't do that. Oh yeah, I forgot to make the stacker. Okay. Alright, so yeah, they end up going... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, there we go, yeah. Uh, now jump on top of the pink. Okay, the penguin is just background. Then. Okay. So all we have to do now is laser blast everybody out. Okay, so I thought the penguin would be something I'd have to jump over. So that's nice that it's not. Okay. All right, so now that the skating is a perma task. Okay, got it. And then we just laser blast them out. Uh, well, no, not quite. Ah, <laughs> you almost caught me, game. But, uh, okay, so we're going to go ahead and then, uh... All right, we're gonna put a stacker right here so that nobody else goes onto the ice then. Okay, very good. Now you're gonna start stacking and you can probably... No, we'll have the stacker do the laser blasting. So he'll go ahead and do that. And then, okay. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We don't have all day here. There we go. I think everybody, no, not everybody is out at this point. Pretty wild, okay. But uh, that should be close to everybody. Oh, now it's everybody. Okay. Well, then very good. Okay. All right. That was that was much easier. That should have been the first level of the tribe right there because you have the skater, which it's like, oh, ice skating. That makes sense. You'd start getting in a more polar mindset. Lend me out should have been like the fourth or fifth level of the tribe. It wasn't too hard. It was just frustrating in its precision. Now that's what I call more of a first level of a tribe right there. So let's move on. Let's do a third one today. Let's do a third one and call it quits. What's next up in the Polar Tribe? Okay, now I'm starting to now I'm starting to appreciate the Polar Tribe a little more now that it's actually given me something of a mission statement. Snow more limbs. Well, that doesn't work. We need all the limbs, not snow more. If we have snow more, then they go extinct and we have to play the level over again. This one is going to take some doing. It's a vertical level. Maybe we're going to be sending... We have one super limb, so yeah, maybe super limb is going to be moving out on and ahead and here on out and okay hold on let's see let's go let's go to it i really love that parka i wish they were wearing it in the actual game somebody was very disappointed that they weren't wearing little spacesuits in the space tribe i'm disappointed that they're not wearing little parkas in the space tribe okay so now what do we have here we have any we do have ropes ropes are fun okay so if they go they're gonna go down mount everest here and then they're going to go down here, bump on this, go up. And then they're going to fall here, which I think might be a fatal drop. So, pretty much all we want to do is probably just get someone going ahead here. Um, but where? This is going to be awkward. Okay, yeah, so this is going to be, this is going to be the awkward bit at the end. I wish we had an attractor. But we do have a stacker, that's, that's something at least. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stack. Stacking seems uh, stacking seems a nice way to get things done here. Actually, you know what? A, a good thing to do would be to bazooka just right here. Why don't we just let everybody out right here and they all get caught in this little... Okay, some of them are going up the way here, so uh, maybe we wanna do that again. Oh, hey, yowzers. Oh, no, oh, no, no. Okay, so that's bad. Uh, we want to save everybody when possible, so having somebody splat is is a start over uh, whenever we... Okay, so what we should be able to do here... Don't turn left, anybody. Don't turn left. Just uh, 
Okay, we've got these people going. Okay, yeah, so now they're gonna... Alright, now you go. Alright, so is everybody safe? And I still didn't manage to cut through the tree. That's... That's impressive. Uh, one fencer. Anybody going over the mountain at this point? Yes, somebody is going over the mountain. So this is a little... You know what? I'm just going to go with my original idea of having a stacker do the work here. Obviously, bazookas are not a good way to bash. So... Alright, so we're going to get up here. And I think... Yeah, there we go. Oh, somebody just going to cruise right over that. Okay, cool. So yeah, they fall and that's fatal. All right, so keeping them keeping them enclosed in the mountain is the first little bit of difficult business. We have jumpers. I should handle this a little better, actually. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and... No. Yeah, see, going from the very beginning here... Aw, oh, man. Boy, this level is a lot harder than it looks, too. That's disgusting. Okay, you're going to get up over that, then. You're going to get up over that, but you're the only one, so... So I should make you jump off to the right. What is... That's the runner. Oh, my God! Jess, come on! Get your head in the game, man! All right, new approach. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and get a guy roping, and we're going to use the filler as literally time filler again. Uh, this is always fun. Uh, so we're gonna, I, I love using the filler as filler. It's so literal. So we're gonna go ahead and rope up to here. So there goes that. That's fun. Okay, so now we're gonna get a guy ahead of the pack because they're gonna walk up over this igloo. This is not the exit, unfortunately, because it doesn't have a nice little uh, flag over it. So they're just gonna walk over this or through it if it's background. And now they're just gonna go through it. Okay, so now to get one limbing ahead of the pack. We're gonna go ahead and super limb. Come here, you. That's exactly what I wanted. Fabulous, okay. All right, so now he has plenty of time to work this out. Now we just have to rope in various, uh, various uh, workings here. Okay, so this is gonna get a little bit dicey maybe. Uh, all right. Can they get up over that? They cannot. See, yeah, this is where it was gonna get this is how I knew it was going to get difficult. Um, uh, let's see. We do have a couple of spares. But I can't make this a little nicer by fencing or anything. Or, or bazookaing a new hole. Um, yeah, maybe I just want to start over on that. Because I need to get right up on that corner. That's going to take... That's going to take some nice shooting, Tex. All right, there we go. That's that's it. That's it right there. Okay, now this is going to get a little harder if people start following him into the thing here, but I'm going to get right up on that corner. There we go. That could not have gone much more perfectly. So now it doesn't matter where or when we use a bazooka. It'll be fine. There we go. Little, little rope tricks all the way to the end there. I think, oh, we even have a fencer, so we don't even have to bother with the bazooka. We can just fence our way out to the exit, which is fine by me. The less uh, bazooka tricks I have to do, the better. Okay, everybody is out at this point. I think this should work, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, it makes a gap right as he hits the steel. Very good. Okay, that wasn't too bad a level. You just have to, just have to be a good rope shooter, and that's something I can do. Working with mortars and bazookas, especially... Uh, kind of crudely bashing with them. Not my favorite thing on the planet. And that first level, boy, gave me all kinds of conniption fits. Which, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say is more more the fault of the design of the level than, well, you know, <laughs> as much as I like to brag, I do suck at lemmings. But, uh, but I don't think it was all me sucking, really. But those next two levels were better. I feel a little better now. I'm going to put away the Elite. I don't think we need to be uh, getting out the uh, Excedrin Migraine or anything. Uh, maybe a bit too early to call there. But there it is. We have beaten three levels of the Polar Tribe. And everyone is uh, doing a little one-footed dance into the Igloo there. <laughs> that's, uh, 
that's a cute little bit of how do you do but that's three levels for today i think that's a pretty good start to the polar drive join us next time when hopefully no more crap like that first level pops up boy i'm gonna be complaining about that for a long time i think